update here guys on the walker we have her internally back together we'll call it that uh, i haven't probably spent two hours since the last video but i did get a lot done uh, what I've done so far since the last video is I put a new coat of paint on the wheels. They were actually pretty decent, but I figured I'm going to this level with everything else. I might as well repaint them. Uh, they're just sitting here right now. They're not mounted on yet. Uh, put the motor in. Got all the pulleys and everything all hooked up. Uh, this is the new jack shaft setup, uh, the revised one that mounts here. We've got our new blower in place and we actually have it running. I'm gonna start it up in a minute. I went through and cleaned the grill on the muffler, gave that a fresh coat of black uh, high temp paint. And I'm just about probably out of gas at this point, but I'm gonna try firing her up really quick. I don't have the actual gas supply hooked up yet. It's just running off what's in the carburetor, but uh, good you know it's funny i just put it all back together and tried starting this last night and uh it seemed like the starter was bad uh, i was just clicking i put jumper cables on it thinking the battery was just dead and it still was just clicking so i went and lifted the motor up a little bit to be able to get back at the starter and i wanted to clean behind the starter anyway so i lifted it back out at that point i had only had it mounted in the frame anyways i didn't have the exhaust or anything on it yet and I took the starter all apart, cleaned it out inside, cleaned the commentator and all that. It, it did have some gunk in it, but it wasn't too bad. Put it back together, same thing, just clicking. Um, I bench tested the starter, it was working fine on the bench. So I'm like, all right, what am I missing here? And it turns out that I just, I guess when I ran the jumper cables from my other battery in the other room, I just wasn't quite connected on. I wiggled the cables a little bit and she fired right up and the starter's working fine. So it was like a false alarm, I thought we, uh, we had a bad starter and I just replaced that uh, over, the, over the summer. So yeah, so we're running. We've got our uh, spread tail, tail wheel set up. That's, I, I don't think I've done the video on, uh, since I put that in either. That was a real bear guys. Anytime uh, to get this old bearing and everything out, you can see some of the damage from cutting with a cutoff wheel I had to do to cut the shaft and pound it with a hammer it was a nightmare but i got this all mounted up the way it should be a little coat of paint on the damage that i did on the frame uh but you know it's just no big deal structurally it's fine and reuse the wheels that i had that i put on recently that split two wheels and uh now we've got a four wheel walker so that's its new stance so pretty excited to try out how that works Got the frame all bolted in. So at this point, uh, all I really have left to do, I mean, is actually a good amount, but I have not touched this uh, body yet. This is all gonna be stripped down and repainted and I've got all the decals to put on that. Uh, that needs to go on and I just got to finish buttoning up this mount and there's a little cover that goes here. Put the intake on and the fuel line and that's all set and ready to go you know bolt the wheels back on so then at that point i'll have a tractor unit that's all set and then next up will be the deck again the deck was uh, doesn't really need anything for the most part uh, the the gearboxes aren't new but the deck shells new so i know i don't have to go through that whole thing um i'm probably not going to paint it but we'll see what it looks like we'll see how this comes out and i'll clean the deck up and put it on it and see how it looks it's just going to get scratched up in the first month of use anyways it would be nice to paint it up and get a picture of this thing looking like new, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how everything else treats me. I might, I might paint that as well, but because that's still the original paint from the new deck shell that I, I put on probably two, three years ago now. So, but uh, yeah, so that's where we're at on the walker. And uh, I've just been kind of doing it in my spare time here and there. I haven't really dedicated much time to it. I'll bring a couple uh, pieces home back to the house and 
you know, sand them and repaint them overnight in the garage and then bring them back here and install them. So I kind of just went through and, you know, repainted all this, all these little things just so, uh, cause the paint was worn off and it starts to rust and all that. So really have to go through each detail to be able to, uh, you know, to make it look close to new when we're done. So, all right, there's the update video on the Walker and, uh, probably the next video we'll be back together at that point. Uh, may not have the deck done, but the whole tractor unit should be going and driving and, uh, Take it for a first spin with its new new back tires. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. One more thing before I end the video here. This is the actual connector that I was talking about that I replaced. The old one was like a more of a square piece and it had no insulation or anything from uh, from the weather. And this is kind of a, uh, a weather tight. When you take this apart, there's a rubber gasket in it. And this is the flat connector that I use to rewire uh, this is all uh, soldered, heat shrinked, and then electrical tape on top of it. And then I'm going to put this in a loom so it's nice and neat. And all these wires are going to get tucked right down where they're supposed to be. And then there'll just be this one one connector to disconnect the, uh, the motor from the chassis, which is why there's a connector there to be able to remove the motor without having to take all the wiring off. And then this goes right up into the control panel. So still got to mount that, but while it's out and freely moving around, get a good look on uh, changing that out that was a uh, cause of a lot of problems and I uh, each each time the wire would either break or or whatever I would cut it back more and more and I had all these different length wires and you know patches in just temporaries throughout the season because uh, you know when water and moisture j gets in here it just it just rots away and and rusts away at these connectors so this should last a lot longer um, another big contributor to that was the uh, blower having a hole in it shoots all kinds of grass in here and the grass holds the moisture, you know, the wet grass in here. And then that kind of uh, rots away at the, the metal as well. So uh, that'll also be eliminated. So when I get this thing all back together and running, uh, here's our new dipstick. Uh, we should be, uh, we should be problem free for quite some time. Um, really, like I said, I went through every little detail and anything that was questionable. I pretty much, uh, replaced or repaired to uh as good as new so that was the plan still gotta put the clamps on the muffler here i got some new clamps for that as well so all right